They sold us something that wasn't accurate. Uh, two weeks old, 55K views. And this is one of the biggest videos out right now. I mean, this should be everywhere. It's by a guy named Scott Carney. I know nothing about Scott Carney. I don't know if he's trustworthy. I don't know what, but this has to get out there. This is like Kumia following the 13-year-old kids on Instagram. This story's got to get out there. So help us get this out. And you could do that by sharing this video with a friend or sharing this clip with a buddy world. Joe, Joe Rogan is one of the most vocal critics of Big Pharma in the world. One of the most egregious offenses by the pharmaceutical drug companies is distorting the data. Which is why it is so Big flabbergasting data. that someone as suspicious of the medical industry as Joe Rogan would take a 250 to 400 million dollar Big Pharma buyout. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Oh really dude? <laughs> you see this? That should be up. 250 to 400 million dollar buyout he sold on it and got around this much money listen to this though wait till you see who he sold it to medical industry as joe rogan would take a 250 to 400 million dollar big pharma buyout from one of the largest corporate conglomerates in the world one that recently tried to acquire the drug maker glaxo smith klein yeah you heard me right the loudest critic of the pharmaceutical industry is also in bed with it. But when it comes to things like drugs, and especially when it comes to antidepressants, and when it comes to th these things that they're advertising constantly on television, constantly on YouTube, just constantly, the yeah. amount of money is so extraordinary. Advertising for pharmaceutical drugs is illegal in every country in the world, except for New Zealand and the United States. Any regular listener to his show knows that Rogan believes that Big Pharma is part of a vast dark money conspiracy that manipulates the public for its own financial gain. No one has ever like said, you've got to trust these people that have the biggest fucking criminal fines in US history. These people that have been lying to Wait us to hear left this. and right. They've been tried and convicted for lying. Anyway, now. after his time at Fleshlight, Marcus was looking to branch Aubrey. out. Aubrey Marcus, founder and chief executive officer of All Things On It, already had a pre-existing relationship with the podcast, courtesy of his biological mother, Kathy Shubin, wife of Fleshlight inventor, Steve Shubin. He took his last $20,000 on a Hail Mary pitch to push a cognitive enhancer that he called Alpha Brain. It turned out to be a really smart move. He teamed up with Joe Rogan, who became a partner in his venture, and soon the stock sold out like immediately. They were onto something. Alpha Brain became the uh, hemp product for their one. new company on it. That's Alpha Brain. That's uh, that's on Alpha it. Really that's feeling the it. black label Alpha Brain. Oh, yo, am my CTE? I think I'd be the perfect person to do Alpha Brain. It could probably really help me, B. Yeah, the thing is, Alpha Brain doesn't actually work. It, it, it's all bullshit, Brennan. I, I, you just make the brand look bad. Yeah. What? Yeah, here, watch this real quick, okay? Alpha Brain is advertised as a complete balanced nootropic created from earth-grown ingredients to activate vital areas of neurotransmission designed to improve brain functions such as verbal memory and executive function. See, that's what I need. Verbal memories and high functions. It'll be perfect, Joe. Yeah, I know, but, but keep listening, Brandon. Keep listening. Interestingly, in accordance to the Dietary Supplements and Health Education Act regulations, any claims relating to structure or function are allowed with no requirement for evidence, essentially meaning that providing no specific ailment or disease is mentioned, ambiguous claims of improved health or fitness is fair game. So you don't have to prove it? It could just be like a placebo or something? So here he is. Listen to how Alpha Brain was created, the f the drug that he pushed on millions of people. I came to you and I said, Joe, what would be the formula that you would like the most, that you would use the most? And you said, you thought about it for a second, and you said, a nootropic. I'd like a cognitive enhancer. It's nootropic. Sorry. A nootropic. I'd like a cognitive enhancer. And I said, okay and got to work. Started talking to the doctors and medical professionals I knew, started doing the research, started going back and knowing what had worked for me, talked about what had worked for you, 
and then hands on the side. Some six to eight months later, we had a sample batch of what was going to be Alpha Brain. Avery's own stepmother, Dr. Janet Zand. The so-called doctor had spent eight months of research in formulating Alpha Brain, including finding the combination of elements to raise neurotransmitter levels in the brain. I thought you said it was bogus. It just said she's a scientist, B. Yeah. And Janet Zan's doctorly credentials stem from a two-year acupuncture course at the California Acupuncture College. Wait, her science is an acupuncture? Yeah. Some six to eight months later, we had a sample batch of what was going to be Alpha Brain. I don't think I need to tell you that this isn't really how drug development is supposed to work. Oh. You don't just call up your friends to get some chemical names and invent a miracle. Uh, hey, do you have a tiny pea? My name is Vinny Beetle and I know I do. I recently found out the reason Joe Rogan is allowed to sell Alpha Brain is that it doesn't cure a disease. And it turns out having a tiny pea isn't a disease, it's a vanity. And just like Joe Rogan, I got together with a team of acupuncturists and developed my all-new dick pill. Alpha Storm X3. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, because this is 1995. You too can stop having a tiny pee. Rogan says as much over and over again when critiquing the speedy development of the COVID-19 vaccine. If you look at the COVID vaccine, for example, they sold us something that wasn't accurate. They said that it was going to stop transmission. They said that it was going to stop infection. It did neither of those things. Yeah. They also said that it was going to offer long-lasting protection. It did not. It just didn't. And they said that it was safe and effective. It's How can they know that? It's a new product. And you're administering it to hundred, hundreds of millions of people without a lengthy trial period like they do with every other drug. Alpha um, six to eight months later, we had a sample batch of what was going to be Alpha Brain. Rogan and Marcus ran their own small clinical trial that showed what they claimed were significant improvements in mental acuity after a short run with their $59 supplement bottle. To put it succinctly, the study was terrible. In fact, in many ways, it showed the exact opposite results that it claimed were scientifically backed during their endless promotion of the product. Compared to the placebo, Alpha Brain only had statistically significant effects on three out of 27 categories. In all of the other cases, the placebo was the same or even better wow. than the active group. If this wasn't a bought and paid for study, the whole thing would have been thrown out. Instead, Marcus and Rogan doubled down on those tenuous wow. results and made a fortune They're in being New York for making false business claims. According to a complaint filed in April 2023, Alpha Brain's ubiquitous marketing claims are, quote, blatantly false and deceptive because even its own flawed clinical study revealed that Alpha Brain does not improve memory, focus, and mental processing speed. The suit goes on to explain how Alpha Brain generates a staggering $100 million a year in revenue. Wow. The lawyers say that Alpha Brain violated the laws in New York when its founders claimed over and over again that the supplement actually works. Because even when you're an experienced grifter, you can't say exactly this. These extracts have been proven to be beneficial. The reality is that the supplement has no clinically proven benefits. Their own scientific study contradicts their claims. And that's why right now Onnit has removed several of their roughly 250 products, muscle builders and creatine mostly, from the New, New York, York market, market, lest okay. they be sued again for making even more false claims. Okay, and then this is the part. Here's the part that I think is going to bother people, this next one coming up. Wait till you see who we sold it to. And his power to cast doubt on Fauci and the CDC response at the same time that he was selling this bogus brain pill. In April 2021, Marcus and Rogan decided to sell their company so they could work on other ventures. And according to an interview on Onnit's website, Marcus is quoted as saying, as part of the Unilever family, Onnit Unilever. is now going to bring its principles and values to Unilever so that they can take on some of what makes us great. Unilever is one of the largest consumer conglomerates in the world. Oh. It sells soap, supplements, food, and pharmaceutical drugs. It attempted to purchase Smith Klein. So when Marcus and Rogan Wait, sold what? on it to Unilever for an astonishing undisclosed nine-figure sum that is reported to be between 250 and 400 million dollars, 
Well, maybe it's worth considering some of the inherent contradictions between what Rogan claims he believes in and what yes. his actions actually demonstrate. They sold us something that wasn't accurate. There's a lot about how much trust anyone should put into Joe Rogan oh! or his partner in assisted masturbation, Aubrey Marcus. Got him. Snake oil. Yeah, snake oil is another one. <laughs> I saw him having gay sex at Skankfest. Oh, this is Jason Ellis. Ian Ellis. Jason Ellis. Jason Ellis. Yep. 